All right, so we've been doing a lot of work with our vocal and our read. Today, we're going to learn how to put the rest of it together. Go ahead and have a seat on the floor, and I'll see you in a second. All of our bassoon cases are pretty much the same way as far as you open them, okay? You're going to have two latches on the side like this and then one here in the middle. You need to make sure that you have the top on top and the bottom on bottom. Otherwise, when you open it up, your bassoon pieces will spill out everywhere. So the easiest way to tell is to, is to check this little flap right here. This lock needs to flip upwards. Let me show you how that looks. It needs to flip up like this. If it flips downwards like this, you've got your bassoon upside down and it's not going to be pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that we put our bassoon in the right direction. We're going to flip up this one here in the middle. Now these two locks on the outside, they're kind of weird. What you do is you just pull, I'm sorry, you pull each one to the outside. You just Again, watch again. You just pull each of them to the outside and it should open right up, like it'll flip up on its own. So now we open up our bassoon. And I think your bassoons are gonna be black, mine's red. It's the same thing. Go ahead and say ooh and ah with me. Ready, go. Ooh, ah. Okay. First thing I recommend doing is take your cell phone, which I think most of you guys have, and just take a picture of this because just it, it's a complicated one to kind of put back in here. So I always make sure that you guys have a picture of this so you can make sure every piece goes back where it needs to. It's really simple to put the pieces in the wrong spot. Go ahead and take your picture right now. Alrighty, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that these little things that we call corks here, yours is going to be brown, mine's red, uh, right here on the corks, but we're going to make sure that we put cork grease on these things, okay? Cork grease is super essential because it's what makes sure that our instrument easily slides together and apart. So to use the cork grease, we're going to open up our cork grease just slightly, spin the wheel here at the bottom to expose some, uh, uh, some grease, just like a chapstick. Okay, and we're gonna grab any of the joints. I'm gonna grab this one first, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on there just like that, okay? Take my finger, swish it around, make sure it gets it way in there, worked in really well, okay? And then I'm gonna put it back in the case where I got it from, and I'm going to do this on the other joints as well, okay? Put some on there, smear it around just like this. Same thing with the other side. Put it on there and smear it around. Your bassoon should go together really easily. So if it's ever hard to put together, that means you need more cork grease. Oops, and see, I told you. I think I just put that in there incorrectly. Yes, I did. So it helps to have that picture, okay? Anyways, when you're done, put the cap back on your cork grease and your fingers are gonna be super greasy. So go ahead and the best place to, to wipe it off is probably with the paper towel. But if you don't have a paper towel, just use your sock. Do not use your clothes, because if you use your clothes, you're gonna end up with uh, stains everywhere. So um, yeah, and your parents aren't gonna be happy with that. So wipe it on your socks, or if nobody's looking, just go ahead and find a spot on the floor, wipe it off, but I didn't tell you to do that, all right? I didn't tell you to do that. I, it was just a suggestion, okay? Now, we can finally start putting this thing together. All righty. So to get started, we are going to get, uh, we're gonna grab the boot joint of our, um, of our bassoon. And that's this giant piece in the back here. We're gonna grab it and we're gonna stand it up vertically like this, okay? Now, I'm gonna put it here so that you guys can see but for you, you're probably going to have it outside your case more like this on the outside of your case. But I'm going to put it here so you guys can actually see me putting this thing together. The next piece 
is going to be this smaller one of the two. It's going to be these middle ones right here, but we're going to grab the smaller one here. Okay, so I'm going to grab that. I'm going to be super careful with it because I don't want to put a lot of pressure on these lo giant long bars. These long skinny bars, they can actually break and then, yeah, it's not pretty for your, sax for your, uh, your bassoon. Anyways, this one here, this piece here goes in the smaller hole. So I'm going to slide it in with small twists. And in all honesty, I usually grab somewhere around up top here where there's less keys. And this part of the top of the joint that we just added on touches or goes on top of this little key here and the bottom part here. So watch again, right? I'm going to slide this in and this piece here goes on top of that piece there. So small twist like that. That should be pretty simple to do. The next piece that goes on is going to be the bigger of the two middle pieces, okay? And this is the top half here of this, this joint. Oops. See? This is why we're on the floor. It's when you drop your instrument, it doesn't have far to fall. Anyways, so this is the top of this joint. This is the bottom of this joint. We want to take the bottom of this joint, stick it in this hole right here, okay? So here I go. Small twists. Okay, just like that. This is the front of the, 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 uh, the, the bassoon. This is the back of the bassoon. Please make sure that you put that on there correctly. You can tell because there's all of these keys here on the back and in the front, there's only these two little, um, uh, two little pinky keys. Okay, so smoosh that in. Grab up here if you need to push it down some more. Like you see how there's still a little space right here for me. To squish it down, I'm going to grab up here and just push just a little bit and it should lock in place. Now, this has a little locking mechanism right here and you have to let that go. And this part here, the locking mechanism, actually goes to a hole that's in the top joint. What this does is it locks the two together so that um, it doesn't twist on you, okay? okay? Last piece is going to be your bell, the bell of the bassoon. This part of the bell right here, okay, goes on top of this part of the joint, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to hold this piece down. I just hold it with this finger here, small twists, and put together. Make sure you line it up just like that. And that's this part of the bassoon. Okay, now when you get all of this done, stand it up. You're going to grab your seat strap. You're going to grab your bocal. And hopefully your reed is somewhere like close to where you're going to be seating already. Okay, this part here. I like. Put your buckle down. You're going to grab this part here, slide it into the hole here at the bottom, right? And then, check it out. You're going to just bring this up. Okay? Hold on tight to it. When you're traveling with your bassoon, the best place for your buckle is actually in this hole. So I usually just stick it in this hole like that, and then I go and I travel. That way, this part doesn't end up poking anybody's eyeball out. Once you are in your chair, what we want to make sure you do is lay your seat strap across your chair. All right? Put your reed on your bocal and then insert your bocal into your bassoon, into this part right here, like so. All right, but do all of that at your chair. You never want to insert this into this part of your bassoon until you are seated. Now we're going to disassemble our bassoon. So if you're, when you're seated in your chair, before you get up, go ahead and take your reed, 
take it off and go put it in a safe place. Go ahead and take your buckle off and stick it in the hole at the top. Now you can stand up and go sit down. Okay, go sit down next to your case. I'll see you in a second. Now that you're back at your case, go in and take your buckle. That's the first thing that comes off, and it goes into the little clippy thing here at the bottom. Next, you just do basically what we did, but do it backwards. So this joint here comes off first. It goes into this slot here, just like that. And then don't forget to unhook this. So this little piece is actually next. Unhook and just pull up on it slide it back over onto this little piece right here that's on this joint and that will keep it from going back downwards and then this whole piece comes off small twist and pull off it goes straight into your case like so big end on top small end on the other side okay and then next piece is the other uh, the other middle joint and it slides actually right underneath just like that Okay, where this part here touches the blue here, and then the cork is down here at the bottom. This piece actually goes downwards like this, where this little ring here is actually down in this hole. So that's what we're gonna do. And down it goes, and there you go. Your seat strap, you can take it off at that point and put it in here. And now you're done. Before we actually play on this whole thing, I want you to practice this at least five times so you really get the hang of it. This, disassembling it and putting it back in the case, I know I made it look easy, but it's because I've done it a hundred times. This is actually one of the trickier parts because you, you gotta figure out where it all goes. Maybe remember to use that picture that I showed you earlier, so, I'm sorry, that you took earlier so that um, you can make sure all the pieces go in the right places. That's pretty much that. Good luck.